A long time ago, the world was in darkness and consisted of nothingness. From this nothingness, the spirit created Our Lady. The Lady danced in the heavens. While she danced, sparks of light came from her, giving birth to the stars and planets. She twirled as she danced, and the planets and stars began to move with her in the universe. Her dancing quickened, and the oceans and mountains were formed on earth. As she chanted words of joy and love, these words fell to the earth, creating the trees and flowers. Her breath created a pure white light, creating the colours of the universe, giving everything a vibrant beauty of colour. Her laughter gave the sounds of the running streams, lapping of the lakes, and roars of the ocean waves. Her tears of joy became the rain. When she slowed her dancing, Our Lady wanted a companion to share with all the joy that she had created. Spirit created the Lord as her soulmate. The Lord was made half spirit and half animal so that together the Lord and Lady could populate the planet Earth. The Lord is the master of the animal and plant kingdoms and therefore wears the antlers of a stag crowning his great head. This aspect of half man, half animal shows his joy in both the humans and animal creation of the spirit. The Lord and Lady created angels and para spirits to guide the population. Though they are not always seen, they are always with us. As the population started to grow and became prosperous, the Lord and Lady saw a need for healers among them. The Lord and Lady drew the energy from the realm of the angels, para animals and humans to create the witches. Witches were given the wisdom of the Lord and Lady, the ability to heal and the art of magic. They learned how to talk to the spirits and how to communicate with the energies of earth, air, fire, water and spirit and how to communicate with the animal and plant kingdom. As the world grew darker with ignorance and hate of human creation, the Lady took the body of the moon to represent the gentle light of her perfect peace. And the Lord took the vibrant rays of the sun as a symbol of strength and perfect love. And once a month, when the moon is full, the witches celebrate and remember the blessings our mother has bestowed upon us.